gosh, where do I begin? 19 months, 16 volumes of recordings. Here we are at the end. The summer of 2014. So we're looking at two years ago. I, I got a sabbatical to, to research uh, the Russian school of piano playing. Well, it's such a big school of piano playing and the people that I want to commemorate are such big and important figures that one or two CDs just wouldn't be enough. So at first it was going to be a five CD project. And then I realized if I wanted to truly pay homage to somebody so comprehensive as a pianist like Sviatoslav Richter, I, I have to do much more repertoire. So I started to think about what types of repertoire would really capture a sort of core of his work. And I, I came up with about eight or nine CDs of repertoire. And then I thought about Horowitz. And I thought from my own repertoire, about three CDs of his work. And, and really this project could be much larger because I only did one disc for Gillis, who's a pianist I admire very much. I certainly wanted to bring to light the music of my own professor, Nodar Gabunya. He wrote a great body of piano repertoire that nobody knows. And these pieces that we recorded, I, I mean, I think the whole world should know them. They are beautiful pieces. They are perfect proportions. They are melodically gorgeous. They are touching and they are the work of a master composer. One piece that's so dear is Schubert's Windhäuser with Chris Thompson, a, a singer who is not afraid to go to very fragile emotional places. We did the great Windhäuser now after a decade of collaboration, and that was really satisfying to put that on, onto disc. And then the Bormio String Quartet, one of the finest ensembles in the world. Before we even started the rehearsals, I said, I want you to tell me all of the most annoying things that pianists do in this piece. And then I want us to make a recording that sounds like we're just five equal instruments. You know, one thing about this project that's really kind of remarkable is that we did every bit of this remotely. We never one time sat down at the same computer and said, yes, this is the edit, let's do it here or something. No, these were email exchanges for the most part. We did a couple of conference calls, but really there were email exchanges in this piece, listen to this second. And I mean, it was a virtuoso performance by, by Colin to do this. I mean, we had to be in perfect sync. And we've worked together for years now. That's the only way we could have possibly done this. The DVD is really, it illustrates the whole project, you know? The DVD showed you a little bit of, of my inspiration behind doing this. You. Um, you know, when you see me in concert, I actually talk about the pianists that I admire so much. I admire them so much that I show the audience a little clip of, of them playing or talking. And then I talk a little bit about what inspires me about their playing. And, um, and then like a, like a gift, a little Rice gift, I, I dedicate the to performance to them. These people, we might not have known them. I, I never got to meet Richter. Um, I never met Mr. Horowitz, but you know, they gave me so much. Uh, they gave me so much inspiration and they keep giving, their records keep giving me inspiration. And so I feel like this project was just a very small, gift back 
not to them, but to, to commemorate the investment that they unknowingly made in me.